Yo, what is up YouTube? I'm Brahma here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's episode, we'll just be taking a quick dive on how we operate our clothing brand. Everything from uh, packaging to how we uh, produce our garments, like the dyeing process, screen printing, uh, and some of the stresses that go behind uh, just operating a clothing brand. And also uh, talk a little bit about where we're at and how we're, we plan to navigate the near future uh, so hopefully you enjoy this episode again feel free to let me know in the comments below if you want me to cover any topics about running a brand or anything from diy just just leave it down below and I'll, we'll try to put a lot of effort into producing a video that could address some of those topics yeah so so we we did a we did a a, a drop a uh, couple weeks ago and right now we're in the phases of like producing and, and, and processing and, and fulfilling all the orders for that drop uh, and then uh, maybe restocking some stuff on the website uh, just just as a way to clear our inventory I think that's huge as, as a small startup it's it's really hard to get stuck with inventory because a lot of time that's kind of all your money uh, and you want to get rid of inventory as fast as you can uh, and that's kind of we're in the process of just building these systems in order to to function in, in a operate in a, in a f not not necessarily a fast manner but like smoothly uh and very timely from like when someone orders and packaging and processing that order like i want to i want to get to a point where it's like very closely tight so we could we do a drop and then a week later everything is like getting ready to get shipped so uh, maybe like a two-week turnaround instead of a month turnaround um, and that's that's something that's very hard as a small brand to to figure out the infrastructure Like 24 shirts. Um, I'm gonna fill that up four times with that small 28 liter bucket and then use eight of these. So, so it's gonna be a little process, but we'll get them done. At the same time, I gotta order some blanks for different pieces. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shirts. So that's only for 24 shirts? Yeah, we got so much more, so much more dye. How many shirts do you have to do overall? 105. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a weekend of dying. Let's count 24. Wash, rinse, 
So right now, the state of the brand, I still consider us a very just beginner. Uh, we're just starting out. It's been a, a year and a half of doing it full time. Uh, we've learned a lot over those times. Uh, and now being in this position, I know there's a lot that that I have to learn and the whole team have to learn uh, in order to like navigate forward and, and try to like push and and become a, a better, I guess successful in, in our term. Uh, the, the one thing that I think about in term of like building a brand is having your own blanks, your own cut and sewn pieces, uh, really from picking out the fabric to, to working closely with manufacturers and the whole like dyeing process, just being a part of the whole process uh, that's something that I plan to navigate uh, in the next couple months. Um, we are actually planning on moving from Milwaukee to LA uh, in August, which is going to be like a really big move because all the manufacturers are out there. So that's something I'm excited about. Honestly, like I, I just thought about a conversation we had yesterday about like the misconception of uh, owning a brand or, or running even our artists studio or just or just doing anything that you're passionate about full time uh there's a misconception that it, it's it's fun and it's i don't know like a lot, a lot of time like people who, who are doing nine to five will, will see that as being like damn like you guys get to set your own schedule and like you, you could go in whenever i mean th that is that is true but at the end of the day like running running this it's, it's so hard to like clock out because there's so much that has to be done. You know, I'm, I'm very passionate about this. I don't think it's the most, I don't think it's, it's fun. It's something that I know it's necessary that I need to do uh, in order to grow this brand. And there's like a lot of like late night and hard days. Uh, it's, it's not all just like fun and games. Social media, it's so easy to like look at my life and be like, yo, damn, you're living the life. Like, I, I am very grateful uh, to where I'm at, but it is also, it, it comes with a level of like sacrifice uh, in order to 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 do what I'm doing. Uh, and that's just kind of one thing that I wanted to just like, I guess, communicate and share. You And, and feel free to like, uh, be a part of this conversation in the comments. Just let me know if if you've ever felt like you know, pursuing your passion is probably one of the most difficult things like anyone could do just because the expectation that we as artists put onto ourselves is completely different from like what a nine, nine to five would expect from an individual. Uh, so yeah, feel free to pitch in and, and like share your thoughts on that in the comments. Are you catching me in fear right now? I'm like, not Tell fear, me. not fear, just anxiety. Just what are your anxiety about? about? thinking about what the next couple months are going to look like for me individually, for us as a team, for us as a team, for me individually, mentally, physically, emotionally, biggest thing spiritually, you know? What are you scared about? I'm not scared, bro. What are you nervous I'm not about? not scared of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you nervous about? What, what are you anxious about? What do I have anxiety about? about? Yeah. Um, anxiety is good to me. This is like the feeling of like right before I hit the stage, whether I'm DJing or MCing, you know? It's like the good type of anxiety is because you don't know what's gonna happen. So it's like, that's like, those are the things I make decisions in the unknown that are like life-changing, you know? Like it's not calculated and like, you know what's gonna happen. It's like a risk. It's just like jumping off a cliff. Does that make you excited? Yeah, it makes me excited. It makes me uh, uh, makes me <laughs> makes me feel like I got a lot of shit to do, a lot of work to be done to feel ready. Like it's like, when are you ever ready for anything? You know? Yeah. How do you know when you're ready? But yeah, we back here in the shipping fulfillment part of our offices, just trying to make sure everything stays organized while our product our uh, products come in you know still being manufactured but is literally over there printing right now um i've been dying over the weekend i even fulfilled some single item orders over the weekend just to kind of keep shit organized and, and run it smoothly but yeah man more single item orders being brought up
we are a small business. We say thank you to Alex, Alex King, over in Washington. <laughs> Watching this is gonna hear name. Thank you, Emma Germano, uh, out of Nashville, Tennessee. Greatly appreciate you. What'd you say? Easily over 1,200 orders. <laughs> waiting on a lot of uh, <laughs> garments to come in for shipping. So good. I remember last year this year would have been like super stressful, but I feel like over time you just kind of get used to it. There's an expectation. You, you expect all the emails, you know, the impatient customers, and then um, that shit. Uh, did take a toll on me in the beginning, but now it's just like, you know, get used to it. Even the drops. It's like, it's like, at the end of the day, like we're doing our best, um, and that's all we could do, you know, when it comes to fulfilling. I think the the key, the key, the key distinction is is knowing that we have way more to go, and we we have a lot of things to improve on, like the customer from customer service to the customer experience when they receive their packages. It's like all the things we have in mind. You know, we wanna make that a better experience for the future. But right now we're operating uh, on how, like we're operating the way we should be uh, as far as like expectations. But um, I think that that's the key distinction though. Yeah, I okay. see. So you said this would be like how much? Um, Out of the bulk? I don't know. It's, it's close to two hundred orders. Over two hundred. Over two hundred. What do we got left? Uh, we have <laughs> we have a thousand two hundred more orders to go. Yeah. So a lot of printing, a lot of. A lot of packaging and shipping. Yo, again, thank you guys so much for uh, watching this YouTube video and sticking to the end. Uh, as I mentioned before, if you have anything that you want us to specifically uh, make a video on, either a tutorial or just to clarify some things, just please leave it in the comment. I want to I use the comment section as a way to start conversation and just keep talking about how, to, how we, we run brands or, or companies or startups. Uh, 
because it's it's it is it is a lonely journey sometimes so having these conversation kind of feels like uh there's others out there who who are also like a part of this journey uh so i do enjoy those a lot uh, again i'll link below a lot of videos from like w we've done in the past on how to screen print and also some on how we operate our brand and how we shoot our lookbooks and stuff like that so if you if you're feeling stuck or you, you want to learn certain things about how we operate uh the videos will be linked down below again thank you so much feel free to like this video uh, subscribe to this channel and stay tuned because we'll be dropping a new episode every thursday uh in the evening we don't have a time yet but it will be in the evening so peace